Good morning. Good morning, readers. Good morning. Good morning, readers. What is going on, everybody? What is going on? It is your boy Darian coming to you live with another video. It is the Spotlight Raiders Talk. Shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube page. If this is your first time ever being at the YouTube page, we do suggest that you subscribe, hit the bell button, and get the latest news and all Raiders news. But Raiders, sorry, I can't be as loud as I want to because I am at work doing this early in the morning for you. But baby, what I got to tell you, what hell of a game that we had last night in the Raiders are in the playoffs bro i'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna put this disclaimer out here right now i said this season was over i said this season was over just the way that we were playing a month ago i said this season was over and i'm gonna man up and say that i was absolutely wrong i was absolutely wrong about the Raiders saying the season is over. So I'm going to man up and keep my word. I apologize to the nation for keep not keeping the faith. I apologize 100% because I thought this season was over. I didn't think we had a chance the way we were playing before this four game winning streak that we went on. Shout out to the Raiders for proving me wrong. And we're back in the playoffs, baby. The Raiders get the win in overtime. The Raiders get the win in overtime. 35 to 32. What a game, y'all. What a game. A lot of speculation could have went down in this game. We really thought that Baltimore was going to win. Jacksonville did their job, and we thought the Chargers and the Raiders would have been, would have been in the playoffs. But it didn't turn out that way. So we had to face adversity. Face adversity. Go out here and get this win. And when I tell you we was up 29 to 14, I really thought that things were going the right way for us. Until the Chargers started surging back. Started surging back. And this is what turned the game around. When we went for it on that two-point conversion and we didn't get it instead of taking an extra point. Because if we would have took that extra point, that means if the Chargers wanted to come back, what they had to do, all they had to do was score and had to get a two-point conversion. We would have been up eight instead of being up seven. Defense. Y'all played well for three quarters. Defense. That fourth quarter collapse almost had me a heart attack, bro. The fourth quarter collapse almost had me a heart attack because all the fourth and tens that we gave up, the fourth and 21s that we gave up in this fourth quarter, I'm like, how we can stop them on first, second, and third down? And we couldn't stop them on, we, we just we just couldn't stop them on fourth down. I was like, oh, yo, if y'all would have saw the live stream last night, from last night, y'all should have seen how bad I was going in on this defense on fourth down. But it end up getting the overtime. Derek Carr goes down, gets us three points. The Chargers go down the field, gets three points. But this is where the Raiders is smart, man. This is where the Raiders is smart at because what the Raiders did last night, they thought the, the Chargers wanted to go for a tie. I knew they wanted to go for a tie. And Raiders was not doing it. They was like, this is a division rival. We're going to kick them out the playoffs. And that's exactly what they did with Daniel Carlson. Carr has done it again for the last four weeks. And he got us down and put us in position to win a game. I'm so proud of this team, man. I am so proud of this team. The Henry Rugg situation, losing John Gruden, Damon Arnett. You know, the Raider Nation saying they Carr should be gone. Carr gets it done when it matters. Maybe it's not the best game from him. He was 20 of 3,686 yards, two touchdowns. He did not turn the ball over at all. It's not the best game from Derek Carr. But when it comes in clutch moments, you can't say nothing about it. 
You can't say nothing about it at all. The guy was good. He was good. And shout out to Josh Jacobs because I questioned you all year long, Josh Jacobs. I questioned you all year long. And you proved me wrong tonight with 26 carries, 132 yards, 5.1 yards a carry, and a touchdown. Jalen Rashard had a big run on third and 21. Two carries for 24 yards. I mean, Marcus Mariota, four for 23 yards. Brian Edwards, he was the leading uh when it comes to yards, it was leading with four receptions, 63 yards on five targets. You had Foster Moreau had that big catch in the first quarter and fumbled the ball, but we ended up getting a field goal out of it. He had two receptions for 50 yards. Zay Jones with a crucial catch um, in, in, the, in the overtime, with a crucial catch there. Zay Jones, five receptions for 27 yards. Walder was not at his best on nine targets, but he did have two for 22. Hunter Renfro didn't do his best either, four receptions for 13 yards. They were trying to really shut him down. But now you see that other receivers are starting to get open. They are starting to get open, but baby, Daniel freaking Carlson, Four for four on the night. Four for four on the night. Raiders, if I let y'all down, I apologize for saying that the Raiders season was over a month ago. I completely apologize for that. Completely. Completely. But the Raiders get the win when it matters. 35 to 32 over the Los Angeles Chargers. And we're going to play Cincinnati on Saturday. We're playing Cincinnati on Saturday. You know I'm going to be live for that playoff game. You know I'm going to be live. But the Raiders are in the playoffs. We played, our, we played, we, we, we were not going to be denied. We were not going to be denied last night. We just wasn't. But Raider Nation, let me know what you think. How are you feeling on this beautiful morning? Let me know what you think. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It's the Spotlight Readers Talk. See you on the next live stream or in the next video. Peace.